Well, folks, we're going to get right into today's topic, and I'm going to deal with the topic entitled, I'm a new creation. All right, I think that this is very significant in that a lot of believers struggle with this idea that I'm actually not just forgiven, but I'm made totally new. Okay, this is important because your past has literally been eradicated. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, in other words, if anybody has accepted Jesus Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away and behold, all have become new. So I want you to see that your whole spirit has become new in Christ. All right, and now you are now free, you are new, and you are starting afresh. And Satan can't keep this against you anymore. You know, Paul probably had the best revelation of this. Because Paul said, and he made this statement, I have done no man any wrong. I've done no man any wrong. And you go, but hang on, you were busy killing the Christians. You were standing there when Stephen got stoned, you were holding the clothes. You were involved, you were giving the instruction. But yet, Paul understood. When he got born again, he became a new creature, a new creation in Christ. And so we got to get this understood in our lives. That when you get born again, you are a new creation. Do not let the, the devil remind you of your past. And that is why water baptism is so, so important. Because water baptism gives you that, that physical um, demonstration of what you did in the spirit. It gives you a place where you can remind yourself that your old life is over. And if you've been water baptized, I'm talking about an adult water baptism. If you've been water baptized, you are saying, I've died to the old, I've risen in you, I am a new creation in Christ. And so that is so important as believers, knowing that Jesus Christ has paid that price and turned things around for us forever. In Jesus' mighty name. So I want to bless you this morning as we come around the table. I want you to celebrate the fact that you are a new creation. That the old things have passed away. And behold, everything has become new for you. Alright, and that nobody can hold the past against you anymore. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, He took bread and broke it and He said that this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. Physical body, uh, physical healing and emotional healing. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. And the blood was shed for your salvation, protection and provision in Jesus' mighty name. And so this morning as we take and partake together, I want us to celebrate the fact that we are new creations in Christ Jesus. That we are totally free and liberated in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you that as we come around your table today, Lord, we thank you that we could just celebrate the fact that you have paid the price for us so that we could become new creatures, new creation in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you right now that you'll forgive us of all our sin. We ask you please to wash us clean as snow. Every wrong thought, every wrong intention, every wrong motive, we ask you please to forgive us in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that you love us, that you died for us, you rose again. And Lord, you made a way that the Holy Spirit can live inside of us, that the dunamis power of God can reside in us, and that we are new creations in Jesus' name. And Lord, that we are moving in a new level and a new blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said... Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Let's release that dunamis power for our physical healing. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I release 
the dunamis power of God over every single person's physical body. Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that the dunamis power of God flow in our lives and we command every symptom to leave us. In Jesus' name, we address these symptoms and command them to go in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I am so excited. I'm truly excited about the body of Christ. I really want to just say thank you, South Africa, for coming together at a very short notice to come and pray for our nation uh, last night. All right, I really do believe that as the body of Christ stand together and pray together, we are going to create that umbrella over our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe that God is going to move by His power. And if you did not, and were not able to join us last night, please watch the feed and just stand in agreement as we have been praying over the nation and we are trusting God for a supernatural move. We do not allow the devil to come in and we will not tolerate this idea of Satan coming in and trying to ignite anarchy in our nation. All right, we are going to stand together. We are going to believe God and we're going to push back every single assignment in Jesus' name. That is what we are here for. We will fight for our nation. We will stand in the gap. And we will release the power of God as the body of Christ. As we all stand together, we will see things change in Jesus' name. So I'm so excited to see how fast the nation responded. To see how many people were there standing in agreement. I want to say thank you very much. I want to say this is what it's about. When we call that we are ready for action in Jesus' name. And then I'm also so excited that literally in a few hours, I'm going to be getting to Durban. I'm going to get to meet some of you. I'm going to be able to sit down and say, this is us. <laughs> All right. And so we're going to get to know you. We're going to find out who you are. And it's so exciting just to meet the people. Because all I see is the comments. I don't get to know you. And I would like to hear your story. I'd like to get to know who you are. And so this evening, I'm in Durban. Tomorrow night, I'm in Durban. And then Friday, Saturday, I am in Johannesburg. Well, actually, Pretoria. All right. I just want to just make one thing uh, uh, clear. Anybody coming to the events, please take note that we still have to stick to the COVID uh, rules. So please, if you don't have a mask, you can't enter. All right, we will take your temperature and you're going to have to sign in as well. All right, so let us just get together as we come and pray over the nation. This morning I still want to pray over this Kusatu issue. All right, this, the scheduled strike is for today. I'm trusting God that this thing get turned in, turned in Jesus' name. And secondly, we're going to keep praying peace over our nation. In the name of Jesus. And we're going to pray for the economy as well. So let's pray. Lord we come before you. Lord I thank you. That in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to move by your spirit. And Lord we pray over the economy of South Africa. We thank you Lord. That every single sector is blessed. Lord that you are moving by the saints. Lord that as the saints come together. Lord, that every single sector, the blessing of the Lord will be made manifest. Lord, that as we come and we build altars, I thank you, Lord, that we are going to see the blessing of the Lord right there and then in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that you are going to move by your spirit in such a dynamic way. Lord, that every single person is going to stand amazed and be totally flabbergasted at what you are doing and how you are doing it. Father, I pray right now for favor. I pray for blessing. I pray for the power of God to move over the nation in Jesus' name. Over the economy. Lord, every single time that we go out, we will see the blessing and the power of God being made manifest. Father, I thank you for protecting everybody. As we go out and do our work, I thank you, Lord, that we will not get the virus in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, for those who have got it, we command it to go and to leave their bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord we thank you that this virus. Leave our nation now. And totally dissipate. And totally ir be eradicated. And totally disappear. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
And Lord, we thank you right now for your blessing and prosperity over our economy in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray right now for the peace over our country, the entire nation to have a blanket of peace. Lord, we thank you that there will not be any ignition. Lord, that we have, as the body of Christ, have restricted the demonic influence over our nation. And Lord, we thank you that as we stand together and we pray together, Lord, that the blessing of the Lord will be made manifest in Jesus' name. And Lord, that as the anointing saturates our nation, that peace will prevail. But God, I thank you that justice will prevail. And Lord, your word says that vengeance is mine, you will repay. And God, I thank you that you will do it. You will raise the men and women up to do it properly in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray over this Kusatu strike. We come against it in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you that they will reach a settlement that is fair to everybody involved. And Lord, I pray right now for wisdom. I pray for your intervention. And Lord, I thank you that this strike is not going to cripple our nation in the name of Jesus. And whatever Satan has planned to disrupt our nation, we come against it in the name of Jesus. And we come against the demonic spirit that's trying to drive this thing. And we restrict that demonic spirit. And we thank you, Lord, that angels are being dispersed over our nation right now to perform the word of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I just want to bless you. I just want to just say that I love you lots. I'm so excited and I'm so proud of the body of Christ. As we've come together and rallied around issues. And we have said, listen, we are going to stand together. We are going to move by God's leading, by the power of God and do what God is calling us to do. So I want to bless you this morning and say thank you very much for being faithful and being consistent and reporting for duty when needed. And so, as we leave, I've got one more announcement. I just want to remind you, please, that if you haven't ordered your Kings and Priests book, I would encourage you to do it as soon as possible. Please, I'm asking so that excuse me, we now have an idea of how many to prepare for. Okay, so please, uh, you can order it at GI Bible, uh, sorry, uh, DrArthurFrost.com. DrArthurFrost.com. All right, and you can order the book there. It is a pre-sale. We are going to be shipping out at the end of November. Okay, at the end of November. So if you purchase your book now, you are going to get it shipped. Uh, you'll probably get it in the first week in December. All right, so I want to bless you. I want to say thank you very much for getting the Word of God into businesses in Jesus' name. All right, so folks, let's do our Believer's Declaration today. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. I have petitions granted. I have policies and rules changed. I have battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life.